What's going on guys, Hijinx here, back with a new video. We're going to keep up with the theme that I did on the previous video, which sh should be already uploaded, so it should be previous, which is horror. I know it's not October yet. We have, what, a couple days left, 28, so whatever. Um, but we're we're almost there, so I'm gonna go. I'm doing this theme, and as you guys can see by the title, which should be somewhere over here, over here, one of these two sides. I don't know wherever I put it at. This is gonna be my favorite genre of horror. All right. There's plenty of different types of genres. There's slasher, um, ghost possession type movies, um, demons. Like there's there's a bunch of different types of genre. And I have one particular favorite. I like some of them, a little bit of all of them to an extent. Um, ghost ones not so much, but there's still a few I like. So I have a couple movies here to show you my genre. Um, and let's go ahead and tell you what we got here. We got you guys can probably guess after I keep going. Got Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, this is this is one of the newer ones. Uh, I don't know what year. Uh, da, 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 doesn't matter. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Jeepers Creepers 2, um, the entire Halloween collection, um, Freddy vs. Jason, and Jason 3 and the final chapter. So if you guys can't figure it out yet, my favorite is slasher type movies. Now, there's different versions of that, I guess you could say, um, and most of these are kind of the same version though, um, except for maybe Texas Chainsaw Master. Most of these are kind of... I don't know, uh, unrealistic, I guess you could say. Um, you got movies like Scream, which first one's good. Some of uh, as they go, kind of suck. Um, that's your basic slasher. Um, the killer can die. Um, they kind of made it seem like he couldn't, but he he could die. He's just a human, you know, nothing special. Um, what else is there like that? Uh, let me see. Everything else is kind of like that. Um, Joyride movies. Um, he can die, people, the killer can die in that. The Hitcher, movies like that. Um, and now you got these movies like Freddy and Jason and Halloween and stuff like that. Where they're more of a monster. Um, like I said, except for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So like, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th, um, he technically, he is dead. He can't die again, he's already dead. Basically. Um, same with, uh, Freddy Krueger. He's technically, he's a monster, he's already been dead, he was burnt to death, so he can die. Or can't die, sorry. Um, and, and like this one, they both technically could. Or may it seem like, and they couldn't at the end, that they still can't. So whatever. Um, Halloween's the same way. Um, he never actually died until he became the killer, or you know, with the mask and everything. But I think he was supposed to be like the darkness, I think they said in one of the movies. He is the epitome of evil kind of thing, you know? Um, Jeepers Creepers, he's a monster. He can't... I think he can die in this one. In the... Oh, whoa, what's that? Oh, that's the first one I had in here. I guess I lost the box. Um, I don't know if he can die, really. It's never really... St like, it kind of seems like he can't. It seems like you can stop him to an extent. Um, but once his... I think it's 23 days. Is that right? Um... I think it's like 23 days he's alive or whatever. And after that, if you can prolong it, then he's kind of like in a coma state until 20-something years later. Um, but then you got Texas Chainsaw Massacre where he can die. Um, there's nothing stopping him from dying. He's just a serial killer. He's crazy, basically. Um, so those are your main two types of slasher. I mean, I'm sure there's plenty of more. Plenty of more. Plenty more types um, so those are your main two, whether either they're just straight up person who's a killer, um, or, you know, like, kind of a supernatural type of thing. Um, now, I, I really can't tell you why I like these more. Um, I, I don't know, I'm kind of upset, actually. I just bought this one because I lost it. And in the back, you can't really see it. It says it comes with 3D glass, and it kind of looks like Jason's helmet. I don't know if you guys can see that from there. But you get them out and they're just playing 3D glasses. That kind of stinks. Um, but that's besides the point. But uh, I grew up watching these. Um, when I was little, that was the main 
type of horror. Like, there wasn't as many of the the ghosts and possession movies. There was, like, Poltergeist and The Exorcist. I mean, that was way before me. <laughs> but, you know, that was the type of movies. Um, I think in, in my childhood, what really started was the recorded scary movies. Like, Blair Witch came out around the time I was old. I was I don't know how old I was, uh, more in 92, I don't know what year it came out, I was in the 90s, I think. Um, so that kind of stuff was what, uh, was popular when I was little, and I mean, obviously, you I shouldn't be watching those movies, but my, my dad loved horror movies, he's a big fan of them, so I grew up watching those with him. Um, like I said, I just, the ghost movies I've never been a fan of, um, and I really can't tell you, like, there's been some good ones, um, let me see. Uh, what do we got here? It's good. Um, White Noise is good. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Let's see. I think I said previous video, Haunting Connecticut. Um, I like the Final Destination movies to an extent, like the first three, maybe? Um, after that, kind of got ridiculous. But So I do have other movies, genres of horror I do like. Um, just the, the, slasher, the slasher movies really... Um, I don't know, sparked my interest in horror movies. Um, it's actually kind of divided over here because my girlfriend, or my wife, sorry, she loves loves them just as much as I do. Her her family does. My family doesn't like them. But her mom loves them. She loves them. Um, so we really have it divided. She loves the ghost possession movies. So honestly, if you divided our movies in half, it would be about equal to Slasher versus those. Um, and I mean, like I said, I still like them. I'll still watch them with her. Um, like, we just got the original Poltergeist, the first two, because we didn't have those. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of them. And I don't think she's ever seen those. She's seen the remake that came out this year. Um, but she had never seen the originals. I don't I don't know. I don't know if she's in the second one. I think she said she's in the first one. Uh, it's just like, she hasn't seen the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the one from the 70s, where he's like a cross-dresser or whatever. That's uh, kind of ridiculous. But uh, I really like the remakes of them because it's more serious I guess um but yeah so like I said slasher is really my my choice of horror um another slasher like this would be Chucky or Child's Play where he's a supernatural being by technicality so he can't die um well, I mean he can but then always they somehow somehow comes back in all the other movies like Bride of Chucky, Chucky and stuff like that um but hey, that's, that's basically it, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. Um, what is your favorite type of genre of horror? Whether it be slasher, um, demon, supernatural, whatever the kind of genres are, though, really. That's the main... I don't know if you count, like, vampires, a different genre. I count zombies a different genre. That's actually one of my, my second favorite genre. I might do a video about some of my favorite zombie movies. If you guys would like that, let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to be it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think, what's your favorite, so on and so forth. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you later.